set apart the time with God. Be intentional about it. You know, for Larry, like I said, it's going out to the um, ocean. But go wherever it is that you feel that you and God connect the most, wherever that's it, that's at, and have this conversation. Revisit the covenant. Think about His love. Think about His faithfulness. Think about all the things that He's done in your life. And then listen to what He has to say. You know, things have happened in your life that you've gone through, and uh, He's there. He's, he's aware of the details. I want to share this, uh, give you guys a little bit of homework, just so that uh, you can you can ground it for yourself. There was a, There's a story in the Bible. It's in Genesis and it starts on here, uh, it's in uh, Genesis you know, 30 something, but really going to Genesis 32. It talks about a, a man named Jacob and how he has this encounter with God at Bethel. And it was a really powerful encounter. And at that place, they, they, him and God come into agreement. They make covenant. They make this deep heart, uh, deep uh, heartfelt pact with each other. God makes a promise, and they are going to uh, agree on that then and there. Well, the beautiful thing is, as life continues, you know, as life continues, it says, uh, you know, the, and it continues, and, you know, life happens in all of our lives, life happens. And in Genesis 35, it says, God said to Jacob, now move on to Bethel and settle there, build an altar there to worship me, the God who appeared to you when you fled from your brother Esau. So Jacob told everyone in his household, destroy your idols, wash yourselves, and put on clean clothing. We are now going to Bethel, where I will build an altar to God, the God who answered my prayers when I was in distress. He has stayed with me wherever I have gone. And again, it's just a word for us today. You know, that go back to that Bethel. Go back to that encounter, to that place that you've had with God. And visit that place. Hear his heart and, and his story and his connection in that. And then as you're there, you know, like I said, he's, he's testifying after the fact. He goes back to that very place where he was worshiping God, brings his family with him, and he testifies. He says, hey, God helped me in this very difficult time in my life. And not only that, he has been with me. He has helped me everywhere, every time. Amen. So that's your homework. Genesis, you know, Genesis 32 through 34, 35, you know, just read that whole section about Jacob's life so that it can ground you and encourage you that, you know, there are people uh, in the Bible who have gone through some really uh, difficult things. And through it all, God has shown himself, man, that he's the God that can be trusted. He is the God that's on your side and in all the details of your life, even to the very end.